Hi everyone, Paul Morbid here, Morbid Team Entertainment and Bolex Repair Philippines. Welcome to episode 17 of an overhaul on a Bolex H16 reflex film camera. So, with the turret here, I've discovered a bit of rust right where the end of my pencil eraser is. And although I've evaluated the situation, it looks like I can just slightly clean this little bit of rust off in here. Clean the ground glass and the turret all the way around. Even these parts up in here where the cork cushions for the prism need to be uh, replaced. So I've got replacements for that. But it looks like I don't have to go any deeper in here. I can just simply lubricate what I need to do. The gears inside of here, which is good. And this is a good point that I want to make. When you're doing these type of repairs and you get to a certain point to where you see on certain areas of a Bolex that it looks clean, it looks good, then let sleeping dogs lie. In other words, if it's not broken, don't fix it. So, we're just going to do those lubrications in a bit and clean this up first, of course. So, let's get started on that. So the area in question is right here, and in fact I can rub it off with the, uh, the rust with my precision screwdriver, and that's good. Just get that right there. And that's starting to look good. So I've cleaned this part of the shutter right here, right in here. And as I take it and turn it, you'll notice we're free of rust, which is good. You know, once I removed this turret from the front of the camera, I've been wondering what happened to it to put it in this state. The first thing I noticed is that there was no sealant around the front of the Bolex connecting to the turret here, the camera. So someone I knew had been inside. I knew that from the mangled screws in the beginning of the videos. And when they stored the camera, they, well, they tried to repair it. They failed. And when they stored it, they stored it somewhere upside down. It got wet. <clears throat> And that was uh, what happened to the viewfinder, all the water damage. So here we are. Still got a lot of problems to go. Now we're going to clean these, clean and remove these cork pads. And I've got uh, black foam rubber adhesive pads to replace it with. You do not want to, uh, it's not suggested to put these um, cork pads back in here, the adhesive ones. Because as you know and as you can see, they disintegrate and flake away. Also, we'll replace uh, the protective pad for the prism here. You don't want to put that foam back in there, as you can see, and you know it disintegrates over time and just flakes away. Just like uh, that type of foam inside your uh, camera and lens case. In time, you want to replace that. It's just going to do nothing but cause problems. All right, so let's get started here. All right, so we're going to flake this stuff off, and it is the cork pads, those old cork pads, as you can see they're just breaking right off there. Run them to my mat. There's little indications right here, little slits where you can replace them. And they are, then they stop. And I got this black one right here, and that just pop right off. As you can see, and there they are, right around in there. So next, I'm just going to clean this with some alcohol and such. Scrub it all the way down, so we can replace those pads and 
put that prism back in. So as I'm cleaning the ground glass here, I've also discovered. Remember not to touch that with your fingers. Use your thumbnail. If you had to use cotton gloves or latex, do it. Down inside here, there's a bit of grime and rust, so I'll clean that out. But again, it doesn't look like I'll need to go inside any deeper and take any of this apart, which is great. So we're just cleaning that. Other side of the ground glass. There's also some rust a bit around here. If you can see that, I have to clean that off. And uh, top of the ground glass here, this prism. Clean that. I also checked <clears throat> this piece of glass down in here. All right, and I've been cleaning that. So it doesn't look like I'm going to have to remove any of that at all, which is also great. Apparently from the camera being stored upside down. So I'm just lightly scraping some of this rust off, surface rust off here at the top of the ground glass. Continuing to clean all this up. Remove the paper, the adhesive part, and we're going to start applying this to the inside of the turret. One part. Right in here. Next. All right. I'm getting ready to put the third one in right here. This third pad adhesive. Get that stuck on there. And there we go. This one here up top it has a groove. They all do. And it's farther over to this side on the groove. And they're all just stuck right on there. And the next thing to do is just put in the prism. Right back in here. Okay, now I'm going to take this prism and reinsert it back into the front of the turret. As you know, we put in the one, two, three adhesive cushion pads. We replace those. Even though I've cleaned this prism, the impressions of the former cork pads are left on one, two, and position three here. That way, you'll know exactly how the prism goes back in. So. Let me put my thumb into my glove. And we're going to get started here. As gently as possible. So bear with me. So, that I've got the prism back in the housing right here in the turret, also with aid of my toothpick of, of course, pressing in the foam pads and getting it in there. 
So that's done. And it's firmly in there skew. Don't push it on too much. Understanding it's glass. Next, I've got to apply one of the foam cushions here. So I've got my black foam cushion. I'm going to remove the wax paper from it. And go ahead and apply it to the prism. And that should just do the trick. Moving on. Okay, now that I've reinserted the prism, replace the black foam pads for the prism. Everything's in the uh, turret. Now would be the time to replace this cover on top of the prism itself. However, within cleaning it, that old pad off the back right there, it's come off and I'll have to repaint it so I'm going to have to continue in cleaning this area. Repaint this cover before I put it back on here. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Do subscribe and share. Pull more but a more team entertainment and bullet for Para Philippines. Until next time, see ya!